Saving the summer, Senators Chris Girdler and Damon Thayer plan to file a bill that would push back the date of the first day of school for many districts. WYMT's Angela Riger talked to a local superintendent who says she is not sold on the idea. The hallways of Perry County schools are now full. Kids seem eager and ready to take on the new school year. But what if it was still summer? I can't imagine starting at the end of August. What seems unimaginable could soon be a reality. Senators Chris Gordler and Damon Thayer plan to file a bill next year that would prevent schools from starting earlier than the first Monday closest to August 26th. Starting that late in August, it would be, be nearly impossible to get the instructional time in. The legislators say a few extra days of summer would mean big money for the tourism industry. You could witness a drastic difference in my home community, at our water parks, at our marinas on Lake Cumberland, our car shows, our visitor centers. For instance, Somerset has a multi-million dollar water park that shuts down the 1st of August due to the majority of their employees being back in school. Girdler, Pulaski County says success at water parks, theme parks, and golf courses ultimately helps the schools. This will have one of the greatest impacts without costing a single penny. We believe it will actually generate more funding and have a better effect and increase the quality of our children's education. But not everyone is convinced. Hazard Independent School Superintendent Sandra Johnson says she worries with snow days, schools wouldn't meet the required amount of class time. We would have to really limit like spring break and cut down on Christmas break and and I think those breaks are really important not only for the students but the staff and families to spend family time together. If the bill passes, it would go into effect for the 2017-2018 school year. In Perry County, Angela Riger, WYMT Mountain News. Similar legislation has been proposed in the past. Girdler says while it had bipartisan support, it did not make it past the Education Committee. He's hoping for a better outcome this time.